4D Peacock with Moving Tail Feathers, Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you another tutorial using the Madame Glam Anniversary Collection colors. And this one is going to be for a 4D Peacock where the tail feathers kind of fan open like this. I think all these colors are phenomenal. The one thing that you will see in this video is that the perfect purple color is not opaque. It's more of like a jelly color, which definitely has its use and applications. It's on my toes right now, right now, and I am absolutely in love with it. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So this is a little bag that I'm also going to be showing you from Madam Glam that is meant to travel with gel. So if you open it up, it's got this really nice bubble lining inside of it, besides the fact that it's absolutely gorgeous just to begin with. And it fits, I would say, up to five bottles of gel comfortably. Um, three is probably, you know, what I would normally normally do. But if you guys travel with gel, I do all the time whenever I go away for longer than a night. I'm always like, I need to bring something with me in case I have a nail issue. So I've always got stuff packed away somewhere. So this is fantastic for me because it'll definitely keep your bottles safe and from clunking around against shampoo or whatever else you have in your, in your little toiletry bag. So now I'm going to start the nail with a layer of, this is actually a sheer color of pink, but with my natural nail tip that I have underneath it, you can't really tell, but just a really nice unobtrusive background color. And I'm going to encase it with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong and just to kind of finish off the, the whole nail and keep it nice and smooth as well. Then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file. I started out with a really coarse bit to remove any bulk. And if you guys have noticed, I switched over my bits recently, and I have one that is just the same peacock colors as the nail, so I think that's very appropriate. So these little oil spill style bits I think are really kind of fun. Then I'm going to be applying a layer of No Wipe Top Coat, curing it, and then burnishing in a layer of duochrome powder. So this one has kind of a green-purple sheen to it, which you can't hardly see on top of the pink, but it does definitely add a nice little background color to it. Then add some gel sealer on top of it and cure that once more. Now with a really narrow bit on your e-file, just drill a hole right through the nail. Near the tip, it doesn't have to be like directly on the tip, you don't want to, that'd just be very weak, have a little skinny part, but as close to the dip, tip as it is comfortable. Just take and make a hole right through there. And then on some clear nail tips that are thin. So find the thinnest nail tips that you have in your set. And those are the ones you want to use. And using a Sharpie, just draw out a shape of a little peacock body and a head. And then taking a manicure scissors, cut that out as close as you can. You probably won't get into very close around the neck, but you know, just do it as best you can. And then grab your e-file with that really narrow bit as again, and you can use that to just carve around the rest of your little peacock body and really close it, make it nice and close in on all of those lines. Be very careful not to overdo it and say, cut them in half or something. So don't have your e-file on too high. Just use it, do it just high enough that it'll work pretty much is what you want to do. And then I'm going to take a hand file and round off anything else that I think needs it, touch up all those lines a little bit more. And also I'm going to buff the surface of it to thin it out a little bit and to get rid of any of that marker that is left on there. Just kind of file over it, get rid of everything that's funky. Shouldn't take too much just uh, buff over the top of it. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to paint the body with the color perfect blue. And then before I cure it, I'm just going to take and kind of dab on some of the perfect green color and then take a little makeup sponge and I'm going to just sort of tap it out. Not to completely blend the two colors together, but to make them little, a little bit less of those perfect little dots. Cure that and then using perfect black and perfect silver, I added the beak and the eye. Apply a layer of gel sealer and cure that. Now on another one of those really thin nail tips, I'm going to draw out the shape of my feather. Then I'm going to layer another nail tip on top of it and trace the first shape so that I've got, you want to end up with five feathers that are approximately the same size and shape. So just keep layering them on top and tracing around them. After you have all of those done, then you're going to want to cut them out just like you did with your peacock body. This feather you should probably be able to do just with the manicure scissors and the hand file, so you don't have to worry about the e-file this time. After you have it trimmed and cut out, go ahead and file it just like you did the peacock body. So file around the edge to smooth everything out and then file the surface to get rid of any of that marker that's left and to thin it out because you want to try to keep this whole thing as thin as possible. If all of these nail tip pieces are so thick, your whole peacock is going to end up being really tall on the nail. Now I'm going to be painting all of my feathers with the color perfect green. And if you guys see the coverage on the perfect blue and the perfect green, it's amazing. It's so good. 
it's one coat coverage without a question. So after that's cured, I'm going to take the color Perfect Purple and paint an oval near the top of the feathers. And as you can see, this color, like I said, is more of a jelly color. So it doesn't have that amazing opacity that the other ones do. But in two coats on a natural nail, it does have decent coverage. Like I said, it's on my toes and it looks fantastic. So it's a really bright, vibrant purple. And then I'm going to take the Perfect Blue once again and make an upside down U shape inside each of the purple ovals cure that and then I'm going to take the color perfect gold and I'm going to add a little hat on top of each of my perfect uh, purple ovals so just take a little swipe going right across the top there and then cure that now I'm going to take perfect silver and add the stripe going down the center of the feathers just like that really quick this silver color and the gold are both so opaque that it makes these lines really quick and it usually those metallic colors have no coverage whatsoever but these ones I was so impressed with I mean if you look at that gold it covers again in one coat it's they're really quite remarkable same thing with the silver it doesn't show up as good against the green but they are completely opaque little stripes there after that's cured I'm going to be applying another layer of gel sealer over the top of the entire thing curing it once more and that is it for the feather painting portion of this design so after you have all of those done, you can go ahead and start assembling. So I'm going to glue, just choose one of the feathers at random and glue the butt feather to the back of your peacock. So go ahead and do that and then glue a little piece of wire to the back of your peacock as well. After that glue has started to set or has set, I'm going to take it, I'm going to bend it up at a 90 degree angle and then secure the wire to the back of the peacock with some clear acrylic just to make sure that that doesn't pop off. Then I'm going to grab each of those other feathers and I'm going to glue a little piece of wire that has a loop on the end of it to each of those. Then take, and I actually use gel sealer to attach the strings to my feather. So attach it first to the middle feather and then go through and do every other one. And I know I did this wrong in the video, but do a left tail feather, then a right tail feather, and then left and then right or vice versa, but just go back and forth. Then after you have all of them attached, then you can trim off the extra feathers or extra thread, string the whole peacock through the nail, and then bend that wire that is going through the nail. It's kind of hard to corral all those feathers when you're doing this part. Um, but bend that up so that it's not sticking out straight, so it kind of tucks back in. And after you have that and it's all bent so it's nice and snug, glue the wire down on the underside. So just glue that so it's not going to go anywhere. And then fill that in with some clear acrylic so once again, nothing nothing goes and pops off or does anything crazy just secure that all together and then you're all done i hope you guys like this guy as much as i do and now stay tuned for a melody minutes right here you watching you you, hey you gotta watch your daddy watch it. it's full yeah. melody oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hard work laughing like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching Melody crack up at her little stacking cups. Please tag me in any recreations of the peacock. I'd love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.